So in this video, we're going to create the hitch peg and the linkage peg for your miniature train project. Uh, one thing with these two parts, as you look at both of them, so I kind of flip back and forth here, you'll notice that they are essentially the same part with slight differences in the diameter of the, um, the different sections of the part. So you notice maybe the diameter here is different or the length or the diameter at the bottom is slightly different. Um, but overall, they are essentially the same part. So what we're going to do is we're going to model one using these parameters that you see in this table here and these formulas. And then what we will do is we will make a copy of that once it's done. And then all we're going to do is just change these parameters and it's going to automatically make the linkage peg based on the values in this table. Okay, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and go up to file, new design. And then I will make a sketch and I'm just going to choose this front surface right here. So what I'm going to do is you can see the section view here that basically just shows the profile of half of the hitch peg. I am going to roughly sketch that profile and then make uh, some dimensions on it. And then for the I'll use the arc tool for this next part and then just click the top of this line here and then this one and then just roughly place what that needs to be. Okay, before we add any parameters, like I said at the start, we are going to be using these values, these variables that we're going to uh, be setting up. So I'm going to go to modify for that and then you want to go down to this change parameters option at the bottom. Okay, and this is going to pull up a table and we want to click this plus button under user parameters to enter in our first parameter. If we look at our, our table here, our first parameter is going to be D, which is going to represent the diameter. So I'll just make that D and then under expression, we are just going to type in this value for what the diameter is for the hitch peg. So that is going to be 0 0.25. Make sure that says inches and then just click OK. And so you can see your, our first parameter D uh, is stored here as 0 0.25. And we're just going to repeat this process for the rest of these parameters here. So uh, for radius, I will just type in radius. And then we want to use this formula here so that it is based on the value of uh, diameters. And if we use this formula, that means we don't have to go back in and type. If we type in 0.125, that means we'll just have to go back in and add and type that value in. But if we do it based on a formula, then that means that we don't have to uh, go in and, and enter in this value by hand. It's going to automatically uh, do that value. So we're just going to type in D slash 2 for D divided by 2. And you'll notice that that equals 0.125 because our diameter is 0.25. So then we're just going to keep going. Our next one is going to be L for length. And again, that's going to be D times 2. Next one will be height, and that is going to be L times 1.3. And then our last one is SR, or spherical radius, and that one we are just going to type in. It's going to be 0 0.208, and then we're going to click OK. All right, so all these values are things that we can use in our sketch right now. So I'm going to close out of that because we kind of have them down here. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to type in uh, is our diameter, we can see that, which is right here. Uh, so that would actually be this line. But remember, we're only drawing half of that line. So that's actually going to be the radius. So uh, I'm going to go up to my dimension tool, click this line. And then instead of typing in a number, I'm going to type in radius and you'll automatically see that this will pop up. So I'll just click radius here and press enter. And you'll notice that that automatically made it what our radius value is. You'll see this function symbol, just meaning that that is a parameter that we saved. Okay, our next thing is going to be this line right here, which that is 0 0.5, which is our length. So that is this line here. So I'll just click that line and type L. Press enter. All right, uh, the long line, this one here, I believe that is our height. Yeah. So that's this line here should be height. Okay. And then for this one, I'm going to kind of move this in a little bit. So it looks a little bit more reasonable. 
uh, for this next part for our spherical radius, I'm going to dimension, just move these things kind of in, a dimension from this point to this point, this is going to be our spherical radius. I'll press enter and then also this line as well needs to be dimensioned as our spherical radius. And then that is what you should end up with. Make sure all the lines are black so it's fully constrained and then we'll just click finish. And then we will go to revolve and our profile should automatically be selected. For axis, just make sure you click the center line and then click okay. And then that is the hitch peg here. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is go up to file, say, I guess I should save it as hitch peg and then go up to file save as and then I'm going to name this one linkage peg click save and then I'm going to flip my image here to the next one so this is the linkage peg again same kind of part but just slightly different numbers so I'll go back into the change parameters in the modify tab. So you go under modify, go down to change parameters. And then I'm just going to change these values that we used last time to what is listed here. So diameter this time you notice is much smaller. It is 0 0.0625. So I'm gonna change this to that value, 0 0.0625. And then uh, our radius formula is gonna be the same. That's still D divided by two. Length this time has changed to D times four. So I'll double click on this one or just click on this one and change it to, so it's D times four. L is gonna be exactly the same. And then our surface radius, I need to type in as 0.1562, okay? And then after I have all that stuff changed, I'm gonna click okay. And you'll notice our part has changed. This is now the linkage peg, not the hitch peg pitch peg. So what we did is we basically made one way to make both these parts by adding in these, these parameters. So using, using parameters can be a very powerful way to make uh, parts very quickly if they are uh, the same. So that is how you make the hitch peg and the linkage peg.